Since news of the new coronavirus first emerged in January 2020, doctors around the world have thought of it as a disease of the lungs. But a flood of new reports describing damage to the heart, blood vessels, guts, kidneys, brain, and even fingers and toes suggests that COVID-19 is a disease of the entire body. This is how it begins its journey and ultimately does its damage. The virus, SARS-CoV-2, typically enters through the mouth or the nose. Using its protein spike, it latches onto a cell surface receptor called angiotensin converting enzyme 2, or ACE2. Once inside the cell, the virus can make many copies of itself. If the immune system can't fight off the virus in these early stages, it moves down the windpipe and into the lungs. There, the virus seeks out cells rich in ACE2 receptors and air sacs known as alveoli, which transfer oxygen to tiny blood vessels that circulate it to the rest of the body. As immune cells rush in to halt the invasion, a mixture of fluids and dead cells are left behind from the battle. They clog the delicate air sacs, making breathing even harder. Damage can be extensive. In this 3D model, yellow regions indicate scarred lung tissue in a 59-year-old man who later died of COVID-19. Doctors can also see this destruction using x-rays. Ravaged lung tissue appears white in places where there should be black spaces of air. From the lungs, the virus continues its journey. In critical cases, it can enter the bloodstream, where it binds to ACE2 receptors on cells lining the vessels. This can trigger body-wide inflammation and blood clots, which in turn can cause heart attacks, pulmonary embolisms, strokes, and even damage to tiny blood vessels in the fingers and toes. In the rest of the body, the virus can wreak havoc too. In the heart, tissues may swell, the heart rhythm may alter, and the weakened muscle may fail to pump enough blood to the rest of the body. In the liver, damage can result from an immune system in overdrive and from the very drugs patients are taking to stem the disease. In the kidneys, even more extensive harm could come from a direct viral attack or from a whole body event like plummeting blood pressure. But there are two other odd places where damage is showing up, the intestines and the brain. The lower digestive tract is rich in ACE2 receptors and many patients, up to 50% in some studies, have diarrhea. Viral RNA has also been found in many stool samples. A few labs have reported finding whole, live viruses, not just snippets of viral genetic code in feces. But there's not yet firm evidence that the virus could spread this way. Scientists do have a theory of how the virus could travel to the brain, from the nose and then upward through the olfactory bulb, which connects to the brain. This route could explain the puzzling loss of smell experienced by some patients. In the meantime, doctors are seeing a multitude of issues in the brains of some patients, including strokes, seizures, confusion, and inflammation. And, especially in the sickest patients, doctors can see inflammation in the conjunctiva, the membrane that lines the front of the eye and inner eyelid. The most troubling thing for researchers now is that while they know what damage is taking place, they don't always know why. Better understanding the pathology of COVID-19 is already changing treatment options, like the usage of anti-inflammatory drugs and blood thinners. As more details come into focus, clinicians can tailor treatments that they hope will save lives.